have you so charming and muscular? I ask myself that every day. What's the year? Dad, I had to listen to this jerk all morning. Can we listen to something else? When I'm driving the car, I get to choose the radio station. When you're driving, we'll listen to your radio station. Welcome to Effort of PM. Thought I'd bring it to you real smooth. <laughs> As of right now, South Korea has yet to hear about Good morning, Ephrata. Good morning, peoples. I am Anthony. And I'm Gerald. Today is Tuesday, April 3rd. Please rise for a moment of silence and a pledge to the flag. There will be a meeting of the Mountaineer Robotics Club on Wednesday. That's tomorrow, immediately after school in room 320. Everyone who has participated this season is encouraged to attend. We'll take a quick look back at this season and take an official team photo. Also, all attendees get to leave with their own official VEX cone. Wow, unbelievably, unbelievably exciting. So be there right after school tomorrow in room 320. There will be a meeting of the Tri-M Music Honor Society on Wednesday morning, April 4th, which is tomorrow at 8.15 in the auditorium. Now, over to Eddie Boy C with the news. How's he so cool? Happy Tuesday. France's transportation system has been crippled over the past day due to a strike in the high-speed rail industry. The purposeful slowdown of work originates over French President Emmanuel Macron's intent to reform the labor union system to open up the rail industry to competition. Although France is generally considered under-unionized, only 11% of its workforce belong to a union, one of the lowest rates in the EU, the French Central Union has generally proven to be an efficient, a powerful, and above all, a paranoid institution that will seek to prevent any loss of power. On this day in history, the Pony Express debuted in 1860. Before this time, any mail sent from the east to the west or vice versa had to be delivered by boat or stagecoach, which could take several months. Now the relay team of horse riders could take 10 days. Although short-lived, the Pony Express has a lasting impact on American history and showed the federal government the benefits of implementing a more ec economical postal system. It also economically contributed to the towns it passed through and served the mail order needs of people living out west in a time where telegraph lines were new and the transcontinental railroad was not yet completed. Now back to the main desk with lunch. Oh, hey. Didn't see you there. Today for lunch, we have possible meat yeah, sauce or chicken alfredo with whole grain garlic breadsticks. A BBQ bacon chicken sandwich. Papa John's pizza. Ham club and toast. Fruit and yogurt parfait with muffin. A buffalo chicken salad. Roasted cauliflower. Tomato and zucchini medley. Grape tomatoes, dips, assorted fresh fruit, or, or drink. The drink. Now yeah, over we'll... to sports. In sports results, boys volleyball beat Schuylkill Valley 3-0, and softball had two games over the weekend against Twin Valley and Elizabethtown. Boys and girls across both played Trinity High School. Today in sports, tennis takes on Mannheim Town Township, boys and girls track are at home against Lebanon, and boys basketball is also against Lebanon, or volleyball, rather, sorry. Also, Villanova won the championship basketball game, ending March Madness. Now back to the main desk. Calling all seniors who want to help out at this year's, uh, Seth, can you come in here and help me out? <coughs> it's called a baccalaureate, since Tony can't pronounce it. <laughs> it's a church service celebrating our graduating class at the end of the school year. For more information, there is a meeting in room 1108, Mr. Buck's room. 
right after school on Friday, April 6th. Please contact Grace Dalavai, Seth Bollinger, or Ethan Brubacher with any questions. It's uh, Seth Bollinger. Attention students of Effort High School, if you are interested in running for student council, please stop down to Mr. Marzok's room and pick up your petition. Only six members are selected to become representatives of our student council per grade to represent our student body. And since you represent our school and student body, we will need to hold elections for those positions. To qualify, you will need to stop down and pick up your petition from Mr. Marzok in room 317. 137. 137. You'll need to collect 25 signatures from students in your grade only or your petition will be void. Next, you will need to ask a teacher or administrator at the high school for a recommendation, basically saying that you would be a great leader and a hard worker and would represent our school well. But you can't ask uh, Mr. Marzak, Mrs. Eshelman, or Senor Cirillo because they are the student council advisors. Finally, a list of all eligible students running to be representative will be sent to out to the faculty for one last look-see, just to make sure all said students running are within good standing at the high school. And if everything goes well, which it probably will, elections will be held on Friday, April 20th. That's 4-20-18. That means voting, people. So, stop down to see Mr. Marzak and get your petitions and teacher recommendation turned in by Friday, April 13th. Any petition or teacher recommendations received after April 13th, Friday, will not be accepted. We'll do it. So, stop down to see Mr. Marzak in room 137. And let's get this show on the Bef road, people. Before we go to credits, can we just talk about how, how much we love you, Mr. Bishop? All hail the Papa Bish! All Woo! hail Bishop! Woo! Ha 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 ha!